you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the programme guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Hi, I'm Sam from Adventures in Crafting. I'm a craft and crochet teacher based in Tring in Hertfordshire. Since lockdown, I've moved all of my classes onto Zoom, so I now have customers from all over the country. I teach lots of crafts, but crochet is my specialism. I became passionate about crochet when I was pregnant with my fourth child and in desperate need of some me time. Crochet became my sanctuary and I've crocheted every day since then. I'm a qualified teacher and eight years ago I began teaching crochet. I love sharing my passion with other people. I design patterns, sell kits and teach lots of classes. My classes range from beginners to next steps, specific makes and clubs. I also like to design crochet alongs. My most recent one was my Autumn Granny Square crochet along, which resulted in me designing this allotment jumper, which I love to wear when I'm out gardening and looking after my chickens. <laughs> My crochet tip for you is to enjoy it. Crochet should be about taking part in a hobby that brings you pleasure. My claim to fame is that I met Kirsty Allsop at the Handmade Fair and I gave her one of my crochet sunflower brooches. I'm so excited to be taking part in Yarn Lane and I hope you'll enjoy my demonstrations. Good afternoon, welcome to Yarn Lane. If you've never been here before, this is the only uh, shopping, telling, shopping channel in the United Kingdom that is totally and utterly dedicated to everything yarn. Whether it be knitting or crochet or animal making or what's this called, latch, latch door kiddies, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll talk about this in a minute, I'll talk about it in a minute because I'm going to take you to the website first of all because I've got lots to show you and tell you. Uh, here it is, you go to the website at uh, www.yarnlane.com. That's when you'll come up here. You click on watch the show live. And then you'll see me on the left-hand side there. And then on the right-hand side, there's a little box there that says send me to studio. If you want to send me a quick message, you can do there, afternoon. Um, and that was a little white box comes up across the screen. Now, everything from this hour is on pre-order. So you see all of these, uh, that's what I'm going to do first, all of these latch hook cushion kits there you go uh then we've got mandalas we've got animal heads not real oh oh now they're all muddled up everything's muddled up because there's another latch hook there so please go through the whole oh there's another one there please add another one there please go through the whole the whole look to see what they oh i love that book crochet homes beautiful that book absolutely beautiful oh we got oh oh did they let wendy make some things after that book oh fantastic and we've not heard from her today have we 
And we've got some new in stocks as well, which I'll tell you more about in a second. So that is where you go to look up everything. Now, remember, we've got a competition going on. So if you haven't been watching Sewing Street today, if you buy anything today, tomorrow or Monday, either from me, uh, from, not from me, from on the telly, from uh, Sewing Street uh, uh, television programme or from the, uh, i start again, from Sewing Street website or from the Yarn Lane website, between now and today, tomorrow and Monday, you'll be entered into a competition. You don't have to do anything. Uh, you could win a goodie bag. Two people will win a goodie bag. Now, I think you'll have the saying, oh, no. It's, it's that saying street background, but you know what I mean. It's not the yarn lane. But anyway, you're still included. Uh, you get there's fabric in there. There's nothing knitting in there. There's a bit of cross stitch, you're colouring in and some fabrics. But you're included. We want to include you in it as well. So two people on now. They'll be announced on Tuesday. There won't be a Yarn Lane show on Tuesday, but they'll be on the website. They will be announced on Tuesday, but you will be included. Uh, now, there are three ways you can get in touch. Oh, yeah, I'm going to say the three ways to get in touch. You can either send me an email, which is Yarn Lane, studio at yarnlane.com. That will go through to Kat, producer Kat, and she'll read it out in my ear. Or you can go to fa Facebook Live, which is there. Yarn Lane TV is where you want to go. We're live on there. Wendy's just said hello and Vida's just said hello. Uh, please come and join us there. You can send a message. I've got that on here, so you can send me a message there. Or, of course, you can go to the website, which we've just shown you, and fill in that little box. Oh, yeah, and there's a Yarn Lane fan page if you want to go to that as well. It's called Yarn Lane TV Fan. Is it fans? Has they changed the name of it then? Because it was to be um, makes. It was called Yarn Lane TV Makes at one point, wasn't it? Oh, it's fans now. It is called fans. They've called it that. And a lot of our guest design, you're not going to see any guest design today. It's just, <coughs> just me today. Normally, oh, excuse me, <coughs> normally there will be a guest uh, designer in with us doing a, a demonstration like Jules Mayouf or Wendy Orlando or um, Delphine said it, but we also had lovely, um, oh, uh, there's loads of lovely ones, but the lady we just saw the advert for, who I adore, Sam Sabido, Sam Sabido, I absolutely adore doing our granny squares and everything like that. Right, shall we start then? Now, shall I start with the new, new ins, or shall I start with these? New ins, right. These, all these kits you're going to see in a minute, right, make cushions. And we had a message, or Rebecca Reed had a message saying, from ladies saying, oh, I love doing the latch hook and I hate doing cushion backs. So, Rebecca Reed called these in for you. So, I'll do the natural. Now, I'm only going to, I'm only going to open one, right, because they're all, this, I presume they're all the same size, are they? 18, 18, 18. Yeah, they're all the same size, right? This is the natural one. I'm just going to show you now what it is you get in the bag. When they had them the other day with, um, was it Wendy or was it Rebecca that was on? Or Wendy? Rebecca Reed was on with Jules Mayouf. 17th of May, these sold out. These go in the back of any cushion. Doesn't have to be a latch hook. Doesn't have to be a latch hook. Look, but it's got the zip already sewn in. For you to put your cushion in. So it's 18 inch square. Does it make cushions 18 or does it measure 18 inches? Anyway, oh yeah, good tape measure. Oh. Oh, right, so it's 18 inches. This one's only measure 17. Maybe when you iron it, they iron out to 18. Right. Uh, now uh, I've got to walk I've, uh, this on Monday, which isn't me, it's Rebecca. Right, Rebecca Reed, back, Bank Holiday Monday, tomorrow, day after tomorrow. They're doing needlepoint, and these were brought in to go on the back of the needlepoints. We've nicked them, and we're going to do them now. With Rebecca Reed's blessing, obviously. If you're, you're going to watch that needlepoint show on Monday, maybe you'd get better come in now and get these, because they did sell out when they uh, introduced them the first time. If you hate inserting a zip, these are perfect. It's been done for you. Now, what is this made of? Let me just have a quick look. 100% cotton. 100% cotton this is. If you watch Yarn Lane, 17th of May, Jules Mayouf did a demo on how to put them in. On one of, the, on one of these, I presume, because she did that on the same day, didn't she? Right, so that's the natural. That's the natural. Now, did you have all these colours on that day? Oh, they only had that. Oh, wait, I'll let Emma put that away a little. There's so many things all around my desk. Obviously, so, and there's all things I think it's going to be amazing. 
Right, okay, so we only had natural, they only had natural on the 17th. I now have pale grey, white or ivory and black. Let's do ivory next. I'm not going to take it out the back because it's exactly the same thing. 18 inch with a zip or a D in it. There we go, let's make it a little, there you go. 9.99, they are cushioned back with pre-inserted zip, right? Brand spanking new in today. Doesn't have to be for latch hook, it can be any cushion that you make. It's 18 inch, actually you can make it smaller. If your cushion's only 14 or, or six, because the zip doesn't go edge to edge. So you could make it a little bit smaller as well if you want. Uh, black next. Do you just pick which of, I've never seen, oh, that'd be nice. Luxurious, the black, isn't it? Gorgeous. $9.99. And finally, the love now, you see, how many, oh, well, I can see a cushion over there. Oh, I can see loads of things. How on trend is this soft grey? Is it indeed? One of. Yeah, one of Pantone colours of the year, apparently. Oh, I haven't looked that up yet. And we're in June. Well, that's not very good, John. That's really bad normally because of fashion. I've looked up straight away. Oh, Ultimate Grey. I was going to say, they normally have two, don't they? Vibrant Yellow. I can imagine that, Vibrant Yellow. The colours are chosen. They've already chosen the colours of the year. They, they work five or six years ahead. So, they, so my friend Christine has this amazing job. I don't know if she still does it because she's older than me. But... Um, she travels around the world, well, this is going to show right now. She travels around the world, world with a Polaroid camera, taking pictures of like gate posts in Greece or the sea in California or to, to get different colours or the rocks in Aberdeen or whatever. And then she works with a team of people who choose what the colours are going to be. So fashion designers now, now know now <coughs> what colours that, because didn't you all, all think it's odd when you see a catwalk and you think, how come? Stella McCartney's done the same colour as Bruce Oldfield. It's because they all know what the colours of the year are years in advance. That's the way it works. Right. Oh, there you go. Have a look at this. Ultimate Grey looks brown on my telly, that one. And illuminating. It's called that called illuminating, that one. Oh, I can see a person taking the picture. Oh, it's a video. It's a video. Sorry. Oh, it looks great now. What did you do then? Um, also, uh, look how they spelled grey. It's American, obviously, because there's no U in colour. Right, shall we start doing some latch hook then? Here we go. Right, so, Jules May, you've showed you how to do this on the, was it 17th of May? I'm going to open one, I won't open all of them. So what you get, this is your finished, oh! Oh, they put the zip in upside down on this one, never made this one, but look! So what you get is, oh, okay, I won't open this one then. I didn't realise, I'll, I'll, we'll do that one next. No, 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 you've got every right to, why do some of them come in cardboard, some of them come in zip-up bags? Yeah, I think, because nearly all of them in cardboard, there's only one in a plastic thing, isn't there? Well, it's got plastic in it, but anyway. So you get, I'll, I'll open the next one, I'll do the kittens next, I'll show you this. So you get all the threads that you need, plus your hook, plus your backing, and, every, and instructions, obviously, and how to create that. That's your Westland Highland, thirty-four ninety-nine. They were hugely popular, weren't they, on the 17th? Massively popular. Rebecca Reed's had to get them back in for, to do more shows. Right, so this is to make this one. Your cute little kittens. Kitty, kitty, kittens. Oh, is that meant to be? The heart shapes in the fur. Anyway, $34.99. So what you get in here is you get the back. Oh, I'll show you. When he, when he knows how to open it. <laughs> yeah, but the zip's underneath something. How'd you get to that zip under there? You see, this is what happens. I'll be with you in a minute. Just chat amongst yourselves. How'd you get to that zip? Oh, here you go. Got it, got it, got it, got it. It's because it's see-through. Now you see, this would be brilliant for keeping your fat quarters in afterwards, wouldn't it? Anyway, look, so you open the zip. Oh, look. They look like my nan's curlers. My nan used to have curlers like this. Right, so that's all your yarn. 
which I'll read. I'm sure it must be wool, mustn't it? This kit con includes, contains, one painted background. So this is your background here. It's all pin printed on there. Oh, now, will you be able to see it through there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, there you go. So it's got the printed background, it, which is 52% cotton, 48 polyester, cut yarn, which is 100% acrylic, one latch work hook, and your instructions. So you don't need to buy anything else at all. Rebecca Reed got, did a lot of research about this because obviously some kits you don't get the hook, some kits you don't get the picture. She wants to make sure you got exactly the right thing that she wanted. So here's your, this, so this is your um, canvas that you work from. These are all your acrylic yarns in here. They're already pre-cut. Has she been at this one already? It'll tell you what they're all for. I don't want to take any out. With it, the, no, 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 but they're literally all that, lot, that length. And you literally take one out at a time. And it's like doing... So watch the demonstration, because I'm not going to open this one. Watch the demonstration on the 17th of May. What you literally do is you push it through. It's like wig making. You pull it through, pull it through. And you, it, you, you, it literally creates a knot across the colour. So on that one there, you'd have the caramel colour. You literally pull it through, push it through, pull it tight. There's a little barb on there so you can hold the, the yarn in place. It's not sharp. Don't worry, it's not sharp. It's not like, not like a, it's, we, we did um, wig making at college and the first day, Dana, the wig making teacher, came in and she said, darlings, whatever you do, do not get, get it stuck, right? Because once it's in, Dulcie, within 10 minutes, had got it stuck in her hand here, right? And she had to be taken to hospital because Dana went, oh, it's fine, and pulled it out like that. Anyway. So you don't have that with this. You don't have, there's no sharp bits on this one. You'd be absolutely fine. But you do get the hook. You do get this. And you get all the yarn that you need. It's 100% acrylic to create that beautiful um, kit there. Now. <laughs> Emma. You're going to be really busy with the packet away because Kat and I have to leave today. Oh. Who? Oh, sorry, the dogs can wait. Righty home. That's dogs and cats. There you go. I've done now. I've done now. I've done now. <laughs> She's going to hate me. Right. Next. What's next? An owl. This one. I'm not opening any more. I'm not opening any more. You, can, you know what they're like. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Wendy says hello, John. Hello, Wendy, my love. Oh, Karen's watching. Be careful, because these are flying out. I'm not... Oh, there's the orange. I was going to say, where's the orange? But there's the orange there. Tiny little bit. You'll have some left over, I imagine. Latch hook, knuffen, undula, unu, anudadu, punta anadata, ria, knopper. Anyway... Beautiful, that's the owl. Next. Poppies and daisies next. Oh, all the ones I've shown so far now have less than five available. They're that popular. They're that popular. So this is poppies. That's pretty, isn't it? Daisies. Is that what it's called, poppies and daisies? Easy to embroider. And which one next? Hummingbird next. There you go, right way up would help. Now that one looks like it's a bit different. Looks like it's like fringing on the end. Is it just the way it's been folded back? Yeah. It's a bit in the box in the room. Or the colours in there. That's the one that would suit my house best, I have to say. Oh yeah, you only need one to... Well, how do you say that? You say that. I think I'd get addicted. You know not might only need one, but I'd get addicted to it. Because it's, it's like, if it's like wig making, you get addicted to it. And you just want to make another. And you think, oh, I'll just get to here. Or just do another row. Beautiful, isn't it? Got the whole kit ready to go there. Finally, latch hook. Robins. Now, Robins aren't just for Christmas, they're for life. 
Very popular. Look at all the different colours in there. They're not heart shaped though, are they? Yeah, now the pre-printed panel, you will see, because whenever you go to do a hook around a little bit on the, the, the bit that you're painting, is a double strand, will be the colour, will just be one colour, the colour that you pulled through. So you can create that really, really lovely. Because you wouldn't know how to do, well, I wouldn't know how to do that if someone wasn't telling me how to do it. Uh, these are fantastic if you're just starting. You don't have to have had lots of lots of training or skill to do. N not skill, that's the wrong word, but you know what I mean? As in, it's just something that anyone can pick up and do. It's very, very easy. Once you've got the hang of the knotting and the tension of the knotting, it'd be absolutely fine. And also, if you make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. You just you just loosen the knot off and pull it out. And, it'll, and you can... No, no, go on. Oh, yeah, have you, have you got yours home from the 70s? In fact, I, I know Jan loves doing this, doesn't she? Jan Hill loves doing these, yeah. I don't know if she's got one from here, but I've seen her doing one on her, on her Facebook page. If you got yours home, let me know. Let me know. Let me know if you started yet. So now, would you do it in the car? I'm not sure you would. Well, no. If I was going to take it in the car, I would only take one colour with me. Because you don't want to have all of these colours all rolling around in the car, do you? Have you got to do a row at a time? Oh, do you? Oh, okay. Because well, what you could do is you could do that, that row there. Oh, I mm, I'm not sure you would. No, no, because you could do all of this bit. As long as you don't go next to that colour, I'm sure you can carry on. Anyway, I don't know. Watch the, watch the demo from the 17th of May. Poppies and daisies. I've only got two left of the poppies and daisies now. Two left. Don't ask me to pick them up. And make sure you get your cushion backs while they're in stock because they are going to sell. Don't worry, I know I've got an empty table. I've got a whole other table over there to get to yet. Do you want to go over to it now? Come on then. I'll watch I don't fall over all this. They'll have a fall for them. Right, here we go. Oh, now I'm sorry, we haven't redressed the set. It's a bit of a giveaway. We're still in the yarn lane, in the sewing street studio. Oh, now these are the prizes that you could win if you, any, buy anything, you could win those prizes. Let me just put them put back, back on my belt. Oh, 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 this one. Modern crochet blanket. Oh, I've, oh I've, I've, I'm standing up out. Do you want me to sit down? Because otherwise the camera's in the wrong place. I can't sit down, there's no stool. Right, $12.99 this is. This is modern crocheted blanket throws and cushions. 35 cosy and comfortable patterns, right, by Laura Strutt. Now is that cat, is that that one there? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, oh she's there. <laughs> <laughs> That's like when you see them on the blooper things, isn't it? They shout the actor upstairs and they're actually standing there. That's this. That's this. Oh, I'm going to nick this. Who made this? Mini sample of Rainbow Mandala, page 12 from Modern Crochet Blanket Throws and Cushions. Oh, that's lovely. She could have steamed it or blocked it a bit better, couldn't she? It's lovely. That looked lovely in my house. Thank you very much, Wendy. Right. So, oh, got a few. Let's go through it and we'll see what's in there because I love this book. It's beautiful. Right. Oh, may, uh, maybe I've not seen this one before. I thought, it's, uh, there you go. So, there's the rainbow mandala. The one on the chair is obviously a lot bigger than the one that Wendy Orlando made. That's a bit of crocheting, isn't it, there? Because it's all crocheted in here. Do you know what? That, I wonder if you could make it, make miss the middle few ones out and wear it as a poncho. You know what I mean? Be nice, anyway. Then we've got the candy floss colours. Not got a sample of that one. Sunny skies. Salt, oh, look at that one. See, she didn't do any of the difficult ones, did she? Oh, that's nice. Sunburst squares. Diamond brights. A stitch in time. Deep pinks and blues. Obviously, it's called deep pinks and blues. You can do it in any colour you want to do it in. 
<coughs> excuse me, I'm sure Rebecca, this book is so popular, I'm sure Rebecca Reed will make more uh, things, corner to corner, that's nice, neon lights, they all look like, <coughs> some of them look like they're the same stitches, like they, I don't know about crochet, but they look like they're the same stitches as those. Right, carrying on. Uh, all the colours of the mandala. Oh, oh no, that's different. That's different to the one we've done. Okay, then we go to warm and rich. Oh, that's nice. Dark star. Country colours. That's still country colours. This house is very bleak, isn't it, this photo shoot? Purple patch. Is, I can imagine this is what your house is like, is it, Kat? Hmm. Winter pansies. It's pretty, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. Waves of colour. Oh, she pretends to be the lady in the picture, do you think? Spikes and stripes. Beehive. Oh, that's nice. Beehive blanket. I imagine being at Glastonbury with that wrapped around you in the evening. Autumn leaves. Orange juice. Oh, now. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. <coughs> she says page 73, orange juice, there it is. Oh, the kit. In a different colour, in a different colour. I've got that in a different colour coming up in a minute. Let me just read what Wendy's put in. Mini sample of orange juice, page 73. Didn't want to finish it off, did she? She didn't do the buttonholes or anything. Anyway, I love the bobbles, look at the bobbles. So it's bobbly on one side and lacy on the other. She's even lined it, look. Okay. Then we've got parallel lines. Precious metals. Oh, and then we're going to a neutral and natural look. Riverbank blanket. Fireside friend. Oh, wow. Now, is that a really tiny fireplace? Or is it a really, really thick crochet? Ultra, ultra chunky merino yarn. Oh, lovely. Summer breeze makes me feel fine. Well, they're taking a lot of pictures with that hat in, haven't they? Sun's come out, says Claire. Earth tones. Spring, oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Spring crocuses. Mermaid magic. Little Paul's got one of those. He has, though, from when we were at Stone Course. Do you remember? I've got a picture of him. I don't know. Um, I'd be a bit frightened in case I suddenly had to answer the door and I tripped over. Oh, you've got one. Now, Granny Squares. Look. So what, what, yes, what she put. Let me just see what she put. In, inspired by vintage crockery. Mini sample. I love the way she's done that. Mini samples. I could only be bothered doing this much. She's got that in two colourways coming up later. Diagonal lines. No, she would have messaged in by now if she was watching. Uh, the Sea at Night, Mandala Meditation. Oh, Jan's watching. Simple Stripes. And then all the techniques that you need in the book there. That's nice, isn't it? Twelve ninety nine. lovely book, that is. Lovely book. Now, obviously, you're going to need to buy that book to do any of these, any of these projects I'm about now to show. Uh, did you say there was a picture from Jan? Oh, look, I knew I'd seen Jan doing one. <coughs> I'm loving doing this from Jan Hill. I was going to say, she doesn't look like using words, does she? I'm loving doing this from Jan Hill. Oh, she missed it. Oh. Yes, from you, John. Sent a pick in just now. Started Westie, then ordered the kittens. Loving it so much. Oh, Jan, thank you. Where does she live? Oh, Lancashire. lives in Lancashire. Right. Oh, look at my hair. Got a message from... Hi, John, watching you as I'm doing The Hummingbird. Loving it from Roz in Worcestershire. Oh, thank you, Roz. See, they're very popular, aren't they? The Hummingbird's the one. Oh, now. I said, didn't I, Roz? That would look lovely in my house. I mean, I'll make it. Don't worry. I'll nick that one later. Back to crochet. Right. Now, the bundle we've got here, it obviously makes a bigger one than this, doesn't it? You need to buy the book, though, for the pattern. Right, you need to buy the book for the pattern, right? But we've put all these yarns together for you here. Right, so you get, all very carefully placed. So you get your four lilacs, 
They're all what? Mariner. You get four of, oh, it hasn't got a colour name on that one. Shade 53. You get four of those. Oh, they're lavender. They are double knit. I'll tell you now. 100% acrylic, double knit. 25 grams, did you say? Yeah, 25 grams. You get five, four of those in the lavender. Four in the orange. Then we go on the big balls now, which are, how big are they? 100 grams. And you get, oh, don't wait. One the amethyst, one the red, one the blue, one the grey, one the white, one the yellow, one the green. Wash it at 40 degrees and re reshape it, re-block it while it's damp. What page did you say it was on, sorry? 12. I'm just going to see how, how much yarn we've included so, so you know what size to make. Oh, there you go, enough to make the whole blanket. So this is what you'll, uh, I'll hold that up there for the upstairs camera. This is what you'll be able to make. So now, for that whole big blanket, you need to buy twelve ninety nine for the book, but you get all the other patterns as well, plus all that yarn for nineteen ninety nine. Obviously, you need a crochet hook. So it say what size? Let's have a look. Four millimeter hook. The finished blanket is fifty seven inches in diameter. It's huge. The tension gauge, first three rounds, measure nine centimeters, and then yes, we've got. They've used slightly different colours than we have. But anyway, you get all of that. Lovely. I love the colours we've chosen. And that's this. That makes this. That's the first kit from the book. Then we... Ah! Right, then we've got the bobble cushions. Now, these are page 73. So this will be... Your finished size will be... 25 and a half inch square. <coughs> You're not kidding me, she only did a mini version. Right, we, you can have that in meadow green. You get 100% premium acrylic. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> Sorry, some of the um, threads just gone at the back of my throat. Uh, these are Aran weight, but they are acrylic meadow. And you just need your five balls. You need a, a five and a half millimetre hook. And you need a yarn needle. And a 25 inch uh, square cushion pad. And four buttons. Because the pattern has button, buttons down the side. 19th of May all these were demonstrated. Uh, by Wendy. On the 19th of May. And that makes this, obviously not that colour. And it's, one side is like that, the other side is like that. We also have it in, well it's, they call it cream. <coughs> I'd say that was definitely ivory, but it's a creamy colour. In Aran weight again, Mariner, 100 centre acrylic. Oh, I had a message from Nicola on my bottom. Uh, I've got to read it here because it's too small over there. Hi John, I bought the cream cushion kit and the yarn is lovely and soft. Not started yet, too many other work in progresses. I have a lovely weekend all from Nicola in Dorset. Nicola, would you call it cream? Oh yeah, no, actually I would. I would, I was just seeing it next to the white. It is definitely cream. My bad. You'll also need the book, because that's the pattern in there. The book is $12.99. Your yarn is $10.49. Yeah, all five balls in the same colour on that one. So hang on, 12 99, so that's 13, 23, 23 48, that is, isn't it, for the lot then? And it makes a much bigger cushion than that, that's about a fifth of the size. Um, but also, you're not just getting one pattern, are you? If you're 12 99, you're getting hundreds of patterns. Okay, that goes there. And then, Granny Squares, page 98. Oh, there we go, straight to it. Vintage lace granny squares. Because they're not your typical granny squares, are they those? They've got like bobbles in them. Anyway, this one, skill rating two. The finished blanket is 45 inches square. You need a four millimetre yarn and you need five balls of, oh, hang on. 
We've got six. Four balls of the white and two of the grey. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was reading it wrong, reading it wrong. <clears throat> so you get six balls of your yarn. Again, it's, this one is um, Stylecraft, double knit, 100% premium acrylic. Uh, what did I say the size of you? Oh, yeah, the four millimetre hook. Yeah, I just said it was 54, no, no, 45 inches square. 45 inches square, that's that one there, look. It's lovely, isn't it? You do need to buy the book separately, so hang on. It's twelve ninety nine plus twelve ninety nine, twenty six pounds. Yeah, twenty six pounds. Just shy, just a bit more. Just shy of twenty six pounds. Okay, but we also got it in more of a this. If you want it in this colourway, that's the grey and white that we're showing you now. But you might want it more like that one, mightn't you? Which because it, it has been inspired by vintage china crockery. So these blue and white would be lovely, wouldn't it, here? Hmm. That blue, oh, now, now. This is wool, this one. West Yorkshire Spinners Colour Lab. Oh, now Wendy Orlando had a bit of a tantrum in prep in morning because she didn't get sent these. These are beautiful. These are... 100% uh, wool, let me just double check. Yeah, 100% British wool. 100 grams, that one's called Electric Blue. Oh, what's the, I was thinking of Electric um, Avenue in um, Brixton. And this one is called, is it called Cream? Hang on. How funny it's not got a colour on it. It's definitely not Arctic White. No, I didn't slip it, that's how it came. That one's a bit, I'm not going to say. Um, fewer than 10 of these, though. I don't know why I'm holding it up to the light. I can't see through the sticky label. Anyway, they're beautiful. I love those two colours together. It's not white, white. It's more of a cream than a white. They are all the kits I have to go with this book today. I reckon Rebecca Reed will do more because there's 30, like, okay, I'm saying you need to buy the book first. There's 35 patterns in the book. Colourful, cosy and comfortable patterns in that book. Yeah, and we've only put these bundles together as a suggestion. You might want something else, might not you? I love this. I do love this though. I can just see where that would go in my house as well. Oh, she's knotted that round, so we can't take it off. Yeah. She knows because, you know, oh, look. Okay, better move on. We're going over to the other desk again now. Backwards and forwards, watch, don't slip, don't fall, John. Oh, my word, look at all these, sincerely, Louise. Right, now, if you've not, excuse me, I'm just itching my face. Uh, if you've not seen these before, these are the miniature animal heads. Uh, can we show some pictures? Can we show some pictures? Look, 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 look. Aren't they cute? Now, we'll, I'll, I'll tell you what we've got. We'll have to go in my order, I'm afraid. So, I'm starting. Have you got a picture of all of these? Okay, so I've got a picture. This is Mini Moose Head. That was the first one we just had, wasn't it, Mini Moose Head? Oh, was it? Oh, I'm oh, sorry. We? Okay, let's have a look for the moose head, right? All, I spent years in Norway, right? Never, ever, ever saw a moose, right? 28 pounds. And the word in Norway for moose and mouse is the same name. So if you go moose, right? You could, you could be saying moose or mouse. And the amount of times I said to my friend Jan Olaf's mum, oh, moose, moose. She's like, where, where, where? Thinking it was a mouse because she was terrified of mice, but she loved mooses. Moose eye, moose. Anyway, never saw one. Never saw one. They were on the news when they used to come into the city. As I used to say in Oslo, um, they used to come into the city and they'd raid people's bins when they were hungry and things like that. Anyway, they are huge, they are huge, but I never saw one. And they, they have signposts going moose, moose crossing because they always take their, when they go on their journeys, they always take the same journey, do you know what I mean? Anyway, so have we got a picture you say of the moose's head? Okay, so what you get... 
Uh, is that a moose? Yeah, there you go. That's the moose. Uh, it's cute, isn't it? So it must be tiny. How little is it? No, there's not. There's nothing in here. Oh, in here. How many have we got? Oh, okay. I won't open it. Oh, yes, I can feel it. I can feel it. There's a board. One on that's open, I'll show you, but I don't want to open this one. There's a board in there that it's mounted on. So that's it's smaller than an A5 envelope. And then you've got, the, these are lovely yarns, aren't they? Louise was here on the 14th of May doing these. 70% of cotton, 30% acrylic. Aaron, wait. This is obsidian. Oh, do you remember that when we used to do gem gemstones? Oh, it's, uh, and this one is called Boldro. Oh, now you wouldn't buy a Boldro open if it looks like that, ladies and gentlemen. The yarn is beautiful. I'm not, I'm not saying about yarn, but your Boulder Opal is full of colour in real life. Then you also get your knitting needles. Then there's something squidgy in there. Your eyes. There's something. Oh, actually, can we see the kit, kit, kit component? I can tell you what's in there. Look. The toy stuff is in here in the big bag. That's not in this little bag here. So can you just drop the graphics down so I can see that? So you get the, oh, so it's love the little, there's the board it fits on. There's the black yarn. There's something else in it. Oh, yeah, the eyes. And then what's those round things there for? They to hang it up with. They're to hang it up with. They're in there as well. Feels like wire in there is everything. Oh, it holds the moose horns up. Antlers. I don't know what you, moose, moose, moosicles. Right, all of that. And you, get the, and you get the stuffing in there as well. You get the stuffing in there. Everything you need for, for £28. I've got, I'm sorry I haven't got any of the samples to show you. Okay. Next is... Are you having to run in and out then? Are you bringing something else out then? Okay. Right, next one then is... Uh, mini ram head. Oh, this one looks so cute. Look. There's your mini ram head. £20? £20, £20 looks like the same size because you can see the shield behind the, the, the thing. How cute is that? Now, can I ask, are these knitting? Yeah, knitting kit. Yeah, knitting. So these are... Oh, they smell lovely, these. Um, they smell like candy kisses. Right, so this one is Axonite. Do you think she works in jewellery? That one's called Axonite and that one's called Brown Agate. Or... Okay, then I've got this one. That's that's got the um, well, that's got that's got a needle in it. I think that one as well. That one feels like it's got a needle. In it. It's got buttons in there. Let me have a look at the picture. What else could it be? There's a needle in there. There's um, can't feel any wire. Uh, it's got a needle. It's got eyes. Uh, and you've got stuffing, your knitting needles, and your board that it sits up against the wall in. That's 20 pounds, I don't understand why that's only 20 pounds. Anyway, that one's 20 pounds to make your mini ram head knitting kit. Also, look at these lovely bags they come in. Oh, you can see it on the picture there, but oh. We're gonna have such a nightmare clearing up. Cat's just trying to clear the table next to me and it's all gone all over the floor. Yeah, so good luck with that one, Emma. 20 pounds, 20 pounds, 20 pounds, 20 pounds, 20 pounds. If you made any of these, let me know, because I know she's been on twice. I know she's been on the, on the show twice. If you've made any of these two, let me see what they look like. All your instructions are all in there. Next one, Next one is, oh, better get a move on, look at the time. Uh, mini sheep head. Uh, he's the dark brown one. The quality of these bags and the rope and everything is bag. Oh, look. They are like the sheep outside my house. Uh, anyway, so look, I can just tell you, you get the eyes, you get the black thread or the black yarn. You get the, pl uh, the wooden plate to put it on behind. You get the knitting needles, you get your pink, you get your instructions. I'm just going to see the colour of that because that's a lovely colour, isn't it? That one is Black Onyx. Yeah, she obviously works in jewellery, doesn't she? Black onyx, that one. Again, really, really cute. Remember, these are the mini heads. Can you hear, cat? 
24 pounds this one these are good aren't they these are good prices 24 pounds for a knitting kit let me know let me know if you've made any of these please do that one's that one right now i'm going to move on to unicorn mini unicorn we have an exclusive colorway on this one he's got his mohawk in lavender oh how cute are these so this is a uh, pink quartzite what would that be quartzite i've never zoocyte or something like that. and lilac quartz lilac not lavender quartz, lavender quartz, lilac quartz. Aren't they lovely colours? Can we just see the picture of the finished thing again, please? Look, so you get the board that it hangs on from the wall. You'll get the yarn. You'll get the grey for its horn. Then it's got its mane in the lovely lilac -y colour and the body's in the um, cream colour. Beautiful. Next one is called Mini Deer. Here we go. <clears throat> oh the deer and the moose do go nicely together don't they oh now this one comes in different packaging there you can see the wire and your other threads in this one then you've got uh, boulder opal again oh they match boulder opal and is that obsidian again yeah yeah so the moose and the reindeer are the same colour oh no you're not allowed to call it reindeer are you deer Deer. Well, no, I kept saying, oh, look, there's a reindeer. And they go, no, John, that's a deer. Apparently, the things that live in my village are deers and monk jacks. They're not reindeers. Oh, I don't know. I'm no expert. I'm on wildlife, part of my zoology. Right, now I've got to, now I'm going completely the opposite end of the spectrum now. I'm going to a mini tricer. Oh. Can't go anywhere. Where's she gone? Oh, there she is. I've got a mini, I don't know how to say this, Triceratops, Triceratops, tops. Pink, pink. Oh, we've got them in different colours. So I've got, how do I say it? Triceratops. No. Triceratops. So I've got them in green. Oh, that's not, so I've only got it, no, I've only got it in two colours, green and pink. Right, so the, oh, look at that. Oh, now that's not a gemstone that I've ever come across. Steen brass. Steen brass. It's a beautiful colour though, isn't it? And then we've got the lilac quartz again there. Oh, I love those colours. Last time Louise was in, 14th of May. 14th of May. She's got a book, but we think the book might have sold out. Then the same one in green now. This looks like an emerald. It's got to be called emerald, this one, isn't it? I've not had a message from Rebecca Reed yet. She's not watching today. Oh, she's hung over, apparently. She went out drinking last night. Oh, that's amazing, that colour. Look, it's like um, variegated, isn't it? Amazon, that one's called. And then um, Axonite again comes to that. That's lovely, the different colours in there. 70% cotton, 30% acrylic. Beautiful. Right, then last but not least with the animals, before I go to the other table. I've only got one thing on the other table. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. That's a lie. Minnie Mouse was exclude. Not Minnie Mouse, sorry. Mini meaning small. Not Minnie Mouse as in Disney Minnie Mouse. Oh, nice colour. Smoky Quartz. Right now, Smoky Quartz, the gemstone, is actually brown. It's the only gemstone of Scotland, isn't it? When we launched this on the 14th, it was exclusive to us. We don't know if it still is now, but it was. Let's have a look at the picture of the finished thing again. Cute. You went with what? Oh, it's a boy. Oh, I thought it was a girl. Anyway, they thought called it Senor Squeak when they had it here. 
Right, okay, I've got to quickly go to the other table because we're going to have time otherwise. I won't take my iPad with me. Okay, I've got two books. This one here. So this is just crochet home. <laughs> that samples get smaller. Look, that's all she sent for that one. What page is it? So I know when to get to it. 88. We love this one by MLM. This is one I was saying earlier that I thought I'd seen before. These are beautiful. I love, I want that for my bed. I want that for my bed. So look. Garlands. Where's to go? Dancing. Flower garlands. My head's in the way, sorry. Polka dot streamer. Paper flower charms. They look like more like lace making than crochet, don't they? Uh, geometric garlands. Blossom wreath. Daydream catcher. Oh, daydream. Mm. Oversized wall. I love that sideboard. My mum and dad used to have one just like that. I can smell it now. I can smell it made of teak. I loved it. Then they changed it off this reproduction dark furniture. Anyway, pot holders. Hannah loves a pot holder. Rose pot holder. Oh, I, you know, I haven't seen this book before. Vintage folk medallion pot holder. How many pot holders do you need? Does a girl need? Here we go. Cushions. Tiny squares. Oh, my word. Look at that. Pinwheel, patchwork, and log cabin. Pa no, a page 88, mine. Oh, there it is. Sorry, everyone, that's all I've got to show you. Where's the one for my bed, then? <coughs> Rose cushion, that's nice. Candy corn cushion. I'll get there eventually. Oh, there's another lovely one. Now, be careful you don't slip on this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I do apologise. It's only me in here, don't worry. Right. Look at this. Daisy Dot Lap Blanket. I've got a chair that would look lovely on in my house. In fact, I had that chair and I gave it to my friend Francesca. She recovered it. Uh, look. Granny Chic Pinwheel Blanket. Oh, that doesn't show it off to its best thingy, does it? And then all your techniques. That's a brilliant book, isn't it? How much is that? $12.99. $12.99. What a brilliant book. So now, what have I got a bundle for from there, then? Oh, for that page, 88. Sorry. Carried on going, didn't I? 88. Here we go. Pinwheel cushion. That's an awful lot of wool for a cushion, or yarn for a cushion, isn't it? You need four millimetre crochet hooks. It says you only need 100 grams. Oh, no, 100 grams of each. Cut of each. Yeah. Six different colours here. Oh, yeah, I can see the glitter in that one now that she's done the glitter. So, sorry, I'm sniffing now. White, lemon. This is Mariner Super Soft. This is Double Knit Mariner. Pale blue. Glittery grey. That's acrylic and polyester mix. That was a minty green. And then that one there, that looks like um, Peach Melba. So you get all six of those. Now you do need to buy the book. That makes the front and the back. That's be a blooming big cushion, wouldn't it? $19.99 plus the book. Can't remember how much the book was now. $12.99. So £33 to get you the lot. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I do want that one. We have to. Can we get Rebecca Reed to do that? That. But get the, oh, sorry, you're not seeing it there. There you go. Get Rebecca Reed to do that one. And then, uh, but the, whoever's guessing, it's got to make the whole thing. And I'll bring in the measurements on my bed. No, I don't want one of these, do I? Oh, I'll just put that on my bed when you'll land. I'll just block it to fit my bed. Right, Tio, lovely. Lovely. Different book now. Got to rush because I've only got a couple of minutes left. Look, crocheted home, 35 beautiful designs for throws, cushions, blankets and more from Kate Eastwood. Oh, look. I know this would be a peg bag. That would be good trip. Oh, my word. Look, so we've got nursery, bedroom and bathroom, living room, kitchen, dining and seasonal. Which one should we go to? I'll flick. I'll flick. Oh, we love this one. 
We love this one. Look at that free stuff. That's in your seasonal section. This is your dining room and kitchen. Teapot with look. Beehive tea cozy. Shaker birdhouse cushion. Oh, look, aren't they lovely? Storage box. Textured lap blanket. Now, what's, my, what's mine from then? Hang on. Page 82 of past mine. Hang on. 82. Waffle stitch table mats we've got. A mini sample of the waffle stitch mats from Cro Crocheted Home. Isn't that lovely? So I've got a bundle. Now, you do need to buy the book first, but then we've got this bundle here. That's variegated blue and white. I'm not sure where the white is. Must be on a border, mustn't it? Because there's no white in there. That's just variegated there. But you get the white in there as well. Smooth touch, cotton lock, double knit. $8.99, that bundle. And that will make you, I presume, some table mats. Then the second colourway is this colourway, which is in the um, sort of sage, and that's lovely, that one. I don't know what the other ball's for. It must be a border, mustn't it? Yeah. That's lovely. Have you got colours for those or not? Cream. And green, that's so much more than cream, though, isn't it? Random cream, that's what it's called. Okay, and then I've got one other bundle here. This is for your face cloth. Oh, I haven't seen a flannel for years. Oh, do you? Oh, I don't. Page 40, I've got those like um, nylon, like flower puff ball -y things that you put, anyway. Cotton face cloth, these are nice. This is lovely yarn, this. This is cotton soft. Yeah, 100% cotton. So you get one of two of the white and one of the blue. Well, they have to take it away with them. You can't use someone else's face cloth. So make it for a guest. Let them take it away with it. Yeah, then they'll think they can take the towels and everything then, won't they? Anyway, I've got to go. I've got to go. I've got to go. Young ladies back on Bank Holiday Monday with Rebecca Reed. Needlepoint. I said that earlier, didn't Needlepoint. Now, remember, if you bought anything from me today... You go into the competition, anybody who buys tomorrow and buys on Monday, we'll all go into the competition. I'll announce the winner on Tuesday on Sewing Street or it could be on, the, on our social media. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you tomorrow morning on Sewing Street or I'll see you here. I think I'll be in on Wednesday, I'll be Wednesday, won't I? I'll be on, on um, Yarn Lane. I've got, oh, I've got, who's doing that? Tapestry Crochet. Oh, Sam's a bee dozing up. That's lovely. Right, okay, I'm going. Have a lovely rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Make sure you check out your baskets. Bye.